Have you ever wanted to isolate your favorite vocalist and remix their song? Have you ever wanted to get a better listen to the individual pieces of your favorite mixes? Well, instead of trading stems online, watch until the end of this video because we're going to be trying out a piece of source separation software called RipX Deep Remix. And you can try a demo of this software yourself using the link in the description. RipX is a source separation, sampling, and song creation app that allows you to divide a song into its different instrumental and vocal pieces. Simply drag and drop a file to create a new rip of your song. Once uploaded, you'll have full control to mute or solo the different elements within the music. This is a fantastic feature for transcribing music by ear. You can isolate an instrument to hear it with more clarity. You can also adjust the volume, panning, and 3-band EQ to further shape your mix. First, let's walk through how to use RipX to isolate a vocal. Drag your song into RipX and you'll be presented with the ripper options. You can choose to rip a single instrument like a vocal or rip a full mix of instruments. Then, move the slider for the speed and quality depending on your system capabilities. All these examples are ripped at the highest quality. The Save Stem checkbox allows you to rip wave stems for your different instrument groups to quickly pull into your DAW. You can leave this unchecked to edit audio in RipX before exporting. Once your song is ripped, each instrument track can be toggled from the bottom right corner. Press S to solo a track, M to mute, just like your DAW and you can even drag the bubbles to adjust pitch. Now, let's take a listen to an isolated vocal using Rip X and compare it to the original acapella. The song is Nothing by Lexine. So won't you take a chance on me and my defense Ain't got nothing but time for you Oh, nothing but time for you so won't you take a chance on me and my defense Ain't got nothing but time for you Oh, nothing but time for you so let me know your thoughts on RipX in the comments. I tried it out on a few tunes and the vocal detection algorithm is pretty good. So if you're a DJ or you like making remixes of popular tunes, I think a tool like this is definitely a must have. I'm guessing this software works by dividing the frequency spectrum up into pockets because every now and then there's some overlap. A guitar note will find its way into the vocal harmony or something like that. And the algorithm gets funny when you have super high vocals. This tune has some whistle register vocals in the chorus that RipX doesn't seem to register as part of the vocal performance, and I believe that's because it's out of the usual frequency range of your standard vocal. Another example to support this is the bass track on this song. It's not exactly a bass at all. All we did was double the roots on the low E string of the guitar, just like our reference. Here's a clip. I want to stay up and listen to your voice Could I make up for being your second choice? So this part got lumped in with the guitar stem because, well, it is a guitar. I'll be at the low end frequency range of a guitar. There's only a few notes that were actually low enough to be detected in the bass range. So with more complicated mixes, this can leave the guitar rip track containing a lot of the mids of the song, which is going to contain a lot more than just the guitar. But overall, what this software is doing is pretty incredible, especially for making vocal acapellas. Their tutorials are great. I'll link them below. And I feel that there's definitely room for improvement with your user feedback. So try it out yourself. I will link the demo below. Another use for RipX could be sampling your favorite drum sounds. Select the Save Stems box before importing to quickly save WAV files to cut up and sample in your DAW. Now, RipX has three different drum tracks. We've got kick drum, we've got drums, which is predominantly snare and palms, and percussion, which is gonna be cymbals, shakers, and all the high frequency stuff. Solo the kick drum or the drums track to export an isolated sample to your DAW. I found the RipX software worked pretty good on the kick drum, likely because there's less elements competing for frequency space down there, it's able to get better isolation. 
The cymbals are a little sketchy for sampling in my opinion, but the drums tab will usually allow you to get a decent snare hit. Now this video is really only scratching the surface of what Ripex Deep Remix is capable of, so if you want to get started, you can download the demo using the link in the description. Now let me know if you'd like to see this software used in future videos, mixed dissections, and stuff like that. I think that it opens up some new possibilities and I'm eager to hear what you think. So thank you for watching. If you did like this video, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.